Hey everybody, I am Catherine and I am here today with a different type of video. Yay! So a few weeks ago I was watching the videos of a fellow YouTuber, Chauncey Waddington, who I will link down below, and she had the most brilliant idea, I just had to steal it. Although technically I'm giving credit, so I don't know if that's stealing. So I bought a house last year and I have mortgage payments and all that jazz. So my book buying has been on a very steady decline ever since because let's face it, I can't justify spending money on books when I have a house to pay for. However, Chauncey had this amazing idea of showcasing what you already have on your bookshelves. So. I'm gonna do just that. So I have my bookshelves organized probably different than most people. I separate my hardcover and my paperback and then as well I separate the sizings. So the hardcovers and paperbacks that are either bigger or smaller than standard size also get separated as well. And then I alphabetize for the most part with the exception of my oversized hardcovers because to be honest they're mostly just series and I just want them to fit on the shelf properly. So I decided to share those oversized books with you first. And let's see how this goes because I'm not sure how everyone's gonna take it. And since I'm not doing book hauls, I figured I would do a bookshelf haul. Although that doesn't really sound right, does it? Since it's not really a haul. I'll think of a proper name for this. Now I have six, count them, six shelves to share with you today. And to be honest, most of them are just series, so it shouldn't take too long, but let's get down to it. And of course, Sophie has to be here for the whole thing, don't you? Can't do anything without her trying to get in on it. So first off, I have the Matched Trilogy by Ali Condi. So that's Matched, Crossed, and Reached. I have only read Matched. You're going to hear that a lot. I have The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I love this book. I think it is so much better than Twilight and I really, really, really need the next book now and it's been like on Goodreads listed for I don't know how long but I've reread this one a bunch of times and I love the movie. I just love it all. Then I have the books by Andrea Kramer. So that's Nightshade, Wolfsbane, Blood Rose, Rift, and Rise. I am missing Snake Root. It is sitting in my book outlet shopping cart which I cannot bring myself to push the button on to buy because there's about hundred dollars worth of books in there at the book outlet price so like three hundred dollars worth of books so this is the original trilogy and then the prequel and to be honest I'm not exactly sure how snake root fits into it but I don't have it anyway so it's all good now she needs to be right there hey Sophie so I have conversion by Katherine Howe the Swan Maiden and Toads and Diamonds by Heather Tomlinson. These are awesome, awesome retellings. Toads and Diamonds is a personal favorite. It is, um, oh my goodness, I can't remember the original fairy tale, but it's set in like India in, in a Middle Eastern type setting and it is wonderfully done. I have Daughter of Smoke and Bone and Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor. I am missing book two, but I've read all three and I just need to buy it, which I'm not really allowed to do right now. So conundrum. I have Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. This book is awesome and I loved the movie adaptation, but the book is very short and well worth the read. The fact that it's told from someone's perspective who doesn't actually speak until like the last 10% of the book is done really, really, really well. I have Between the Lines by Jodi Picoult and Samantha Van Leer. I haven't actually read this one. The only John Green book I own, An Abundance of Catherines. And to be honest, I bought it because that's how you spell my name. I have Eternal Starling by Angela Corbett, another book I haven't read, but I got this autographed copy at BEA several years ago, so I will get around to reading it eventually because it does still sounds really good. I have Erin Morgenstern's The Night Circus. She needs to write another book. I love her writing. I thought it was awesome. I know some people did not get into it, but 
very, very good. Sisterhood Everlasting by Anne Brashares, the fifth and final book in the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants series. This one takes place like 10 years after the fourth book happens and it beautifully, beautifully finishes off the series. Like I was moved to tears several times. I have The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. This one was a birthday present from my horrible roommate several years ago and I actually haven't gotten around to reading it but I have heard good things and it's JK Rowling. So I mean, it has to be pretty good. Next up are the Cassandra Clare books. So I have Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess, none of which I've read. I have City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, I've only read these two, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and last but not least, City of Heavenly Fire. I've still only read the first two. I have Meg Cabot's Insatiable and Overbite, which are a vampire paranormal romance duology that she came out with for adults several years ago. I've read the first one. It was really good. The second one was at Chapters for $7.99 and Clearance, and I got it. I just haven't gotten around to reading it yet. I have Across the Universe, A Million Suns, and Shades of Earth by Beth Revis. I have only read Across the Universe and I could only read it because I did the audiobook. So I'm thinking the other two on audio as well. I just haven't gotten around to it because I haven't had the time yet. I have Elixir and Devoted by Hilary Duff. I have the third book in this trilogy, True, sitting in my book outlet basket as well. Like I said, I just can't bring myself to click the button. I have read the first one. You know what? It wasn't that bad. I just couldn't be bothered to read the second one yet. I didn't care that much. I have Etiquette and Espionage by Gail Carriger. I love this series. I just haven't gotten around to buying books two and three yet in it. To be honest, like before, I just can't bring myself to spend the money. But I will eventually get them because I do adore these books and I need physical copies on my shelf. I have The Fairy's Return by Gail Carson Levine. It bothers me to no end that this book is larger than, um, oh my gosh, Ella Enchanted and her other two princess books in the same series, in the same world. They're the regular size and this one is bigger and it's just so annoying. I have The Fifth Wave and The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey. I just haven't gotten around to reading these ones yet. I do really want to read The Fifth Wave though before the movie comes out because the movie looks like it's going to be really good and I love a lot of the cast that's in it. So it's gonna come up soon. I have Leviathan, Behemoth, and Goliath by Scott Westerfeld. I love steampunk and I haven't gotten around to reading these ones yet and I've heard nothing but good things. To be fair, it also took me a while to collect all three, and I think I got like them completely out of order. So, they'll get read eventually. I have The Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, and Air of Fire, all by Sarah J Maas. To be honest, I've only read about half of The Assassin's Blade and Throne of Glass, and I love them. I just need to get around to reading the rest of them. And I just finished rereading Throne of Glass. So I am fresh and these will be up soon for reading because I want to read them all so that I don't forget any details in between books. I have Tiger's Curse, Tiger's Quest, Tiger's Voyage, and Tiger's Destiny all by Colleen Hook. Lick? I'm not sure how you pronounce your last name properly. These books were first originally available only online and they gained such popularity that they were then published and I came across them when they were first online only and of course really wanted to read them. They finally came out and I got them. I just haven't had the time to read them. Let me know if you've read these ones down below and how good or bad they are and they might get bumped up or down my reading list because it's been a while and they do need to get read. I have Confessions of a Murder Suspect by James Patterson. 
I have really liked some of his books and really hated other ones. So I was curious about this, but the concept was awesome. I just haven't gotten around to reading it yet. But I think I like that because he's come out with at least one, if not two more books in this series. And I have a feeling it's the type of book that you want to read the other ones right after. I have Never the Bride and Something Borrowed by Paul Majors. These books are like, I don't even know how to describe them. They're kind of horror. They're really awesome. And they're about like the Bride of Frankenstein. So they were really different. They are adult books. And I've read the first one and I finally got my hands on the second one and just never got around to reading it like most books. I have Wicked, which is awesome, Son of a Witch, and A Lion Among Men, all by Gregory Maguire. I am missing the fourth book, which I believe is Into Oz, and I've only actually read Wicked, but I've reread it and so many times. I love it. I also have Lost. Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister and Mirror Mirror, also all by Gregory Maguire. I've read these two. Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister is such an amazing, amazing novel if you haven't read it already. And they made it into a movie a couple of years ago, which I didn't realize until I saw it on YouTube. And finally, the last oversized books that I have. And they are Demon. Half-Blood, stop Sophie, Pure, Dee Dee, Elixir, Apollyon, and Sentinel, all by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I just, just got around to reading Demon and Half-Blood really recently. And I'm really excited Sentinel finally came in the mail so I can finish reading this series because the first books were really, really good. Sophie doesn't seem to care that my legs have gone numb. Do you care? Do you care? No, you don't care. Horrible little beast. So that's it. I have showcased my oversized books instead of doing a book haul. I still have to figure out a name for what to call this. It will come to me, I'm sure. So let me know down below if you've read any of the books that I just showed you. And I'm going to link below any of the reviews for these books that I've done in the past, which I've done a few, so feel free to check them out. I will, of course, also link Chauncey Bonington down below where I got this idea from, although I can't remember the exact video, so I'm just gonna link her profile. So until next time, guys, happy reading. And let me know what has been sitting on your shelf for ages and you haven't read yet. Bye.